Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at one of my favorite card tricks from the Royal Road to Card Magic. It's called the Sign for Laughter, and it looks a little something like this. So the spectator can pick any card he wants. So let's say he picks this card. Now I'm going to turn my back, but make sure to look at it and remember it. Otherwise, this won't be fun. Okay. So he can look at it and return it to the pack. Now, if you're on YouTube a lot, like you are right now, you've probably come across these motivational channels, right? They pop up about everywhere. Um, and on those channels, they talk a lot about affirmations and visualizations. You know, affirmations, basically, if you're telling yourself some, something enough times, you'll eventually believe it. And visualizing similarly if you visualize yourself doing something enough times you'll be able to do it in fact tiger woods visualize striking a hole in one every time so this is obviously powerful stuff and i want to try that out today i want to try it on you with a deck of playing cards okay so what we're going to do is this you're going to try to find your card by cutting the cards, okay? But as you do, I want you to say out loud, I am going to cut to my card and vividly visualizing this in your mind, okay? So let's try that out. So cut about a third of the pack and say that out loud. So they cut about a third and say, I will cut to my card. And another third, I will cut to my card. Great. Okay, so I myself, I'm on YouTube quite a lot, and I've been watching a lot of these body language expert channels. Actually, so much that I am quite confident in saying that I'm a little bit of a body language expert myself. So let's try that out. I'm going to show you which card you cut to, and I'm going to try to read your body language, read those telltale signs, if, if that's your card but don't give anything away because that won't be fun, okay? So let's look at the first card you cut to. No, no, I don't get the right vibes. I don't think you cut to that. Okay, let's check this second card out. Hmm. No, I don't get the vibes from those either, actually. Okay, let's try the third card you cut to. Hmm. No, I don't think that's your card either. So none of these cards are, are your card or is your card. So apparently you didn't visualize vividly enough, I'm afraid. Um, but okay, let's try another thing. Maybe you're more of like a numbers person. So if you could give me your favorite number between say one and 10, seven, okay. That's a great number. So seven. So one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so what, what's your card for the first time? The three of clubs? Uh, are, are, you, are you sure? You're sure? Okay, great, because this is the three of clubs. No, this is not the three of clubs. It's something different entirely. Okay, so if you enjoyed that performance and liked the trick, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome magic. And remember, at the thousand subscribers, we'll have a nice giveaway and a really, really cool and powerful trick. So make sure to subscribe for that. Okay, let's get oh, nice. into it. So as I said, this trick is called the sign for laughter. It's on page 54 of this book, The Royal Road to Card Magic, which we're going through in this channel. Now this is a great trick for a number of reasons. For example, this plot of the magician kind of failing just to sort things out in the end is usually very appreciated and fun. And uh, it's also a very great way of practicing the glide. We use the glide as a card switch and as a force in this 
video. So I will demonstrate how versatile this slide can be. Okay, so this is what's happening. So we begin by just giving the cards a shuffle and then the spectator can pick any card. So let's say they pick the five of clubs. Now we're going to control that card to the bottom of the deck. And the controls we've gone through so far on this channel is the double undercut or the overhand shuffle control. And I think that's suitable for this trick. So for details on this, go check that video out and go look for the chapter down below called the overhand shuffle control. I'll go through it briefly now. So you start shuffling the deck and they return the card. And now you in jog the first card and then you shuffle off. And then you form a break at the in jog by pushing with your thumb on that in jog. And then you shuffle to the break like this. Now their card is on top. You can simply draw it off individually to get it to the bottom and then shuffle off. Okay, so now their card is on the bottom. And now you can do whatever pattern you want. I just gave an example in the performance, but eventually they will cut the cards twice like this. You have three piles. So either you direct them to or instruct them to cut like this. Otherwise you'll have to remember where their selection is. As I said, you can do the thing with body language or whatever, but you are going to turn over these cards the first time of course it's not their card you're holding the card as though you're doing the glide but you're not really doing the glide and you can either do the glide like this or if you find this way more natural you can do it but either way you won't do the glide now you display the first card and you say no i don't think that's your card and you place it there and then you take all these cards and place it on the next pile turn that over and again, hmm, no, nah, I don't really think that's your card. And you place that over here. And then make sure to instruct them beforehand that never give anything away. Don't tell me anything because otherwise they might tell you now that, okay, this is my selection. You say again, no, I don't think that's your card. So they think you're kind of failing here. But what you're doing is you're doing the glide and make sure to check out, of course, the glide video uh, over here or over here. You need to be able to do that for this trick. So you do the glide as you turn the hand over and you, you draw out the second card. And now, if you want to, as a little sub subtlety, you can draw out the next card and say, so, and point with this card. Okay, none of these are, are your cards, or your card. And then you place that back on the face Okay, so now you've switched. They think, of course, that their selection is over here, but it's actually over here. And now they think that you have failed, uh, which you haven't. And now the great thing about first not doing the glide on the first two cards is, and I've said this before on the channel, by doing things genuinely first, they are primed to believe that when you do the slide or the move, that, uh, that you're actually doing the same thing, doing this genuinely. Okay, and now you say, okay, I, I, I kind of failed there, I guess, or you failed, you didn't cut your card, but maybe you're more of a numbers person. So let's give me your number, your favorite number between one and 10. Let's say they say five. So what you're going to do now is you're going to deal the bottom card like so, and you, you can flash it a bit just to, you know, as a little subtlety. So they really think that you're actually dealing from the bottom. And then you do the glide, so you glide back their selection and you deal the other cards, of course, so not their selection. So one, two, three, four, and then finally you deal the glided card, their selection. But you don't deal it, you kind of hold it like this, and now you kind of build it up. Okay, so what was your card? Or maybe you say, okay, I'm 100% certain that this is your card. Tell me, what was your card? And then they say, yeah, the five of clubs. You can kind of kind of glance on it, and then you glance on this one, and you say, are you sure the, the five of clubs? Really? And they say, yes. And you say, okay, great, because this is a five of clubs. And now you can joyfully watch as they reach for this card. And 
of course, that's something else. So what you did there was actually you forced their selection on them. The glide is a versatile move. You can do it as a switch and as a force. So I hope you enjoyed that. Remember that when we reach a thousand subscribers, we will have a nice giveaway and also a really strong trick. So make sure to subscribe for that because it's going to be worth it. Now let me know in the comments what you think about this trick, if you perform it. And if you have any questions, of course, just comment them down below and I will answer them, I promise. And if you like this, give the video a like, subscribe. And if you want another great tutorial on a great classic trick, you can check this video over here. It's Die Vernon's Triumph. It's great. And if you want to continue on the Royal Road to Card Magic and go back to the basic, you can watch this playlist over here. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.